This is the second play OKC had of the game. This is 36 seconds in. Watch the shot Shea's about to take, right? He takes this shot three from the corner. He shoots it. He misses it. And at that point, Shea said, F that. I'm not shooting no more threes because while y'all want to play like Steph and Clay and shoot all these threes because of statistics, I'm going to do me. Since Shea always does him, that's why he's him. And in this breakdown, you're going to see he does the same shit every time he goes. And that's why the mid-range game is not dead. Notice Mark Dagonal, right? He makes a play call. J-Dub, he cuts out from that left side of the floor. And he called up Aaron Wiggins from the right side of the floor. Now watch Josh Green. He's going to stunt, stunt to Shea's left side. And now Shea goes to attack left because J-Dub has cleared out this left wing. So now Shea could get to what he wants with the one person in the corner. They not helping strong side corners. And now once he gets here, he's like, oh, damn. I got Derek Lively. No problem. I can't get to the rim. I'm just going to stay in the midi. Pump fake and shoot while you come down so I get no contest. Notice, he decides to go and attack the way J-Dub cut through. One. So now he gets a switch on to Josh Green. And now Isaiah Joe cuts from that right side of the floor. And now what does Shea decide to go do? He attacks the same way the cut came from. But peep, Dante Exum, he wasn't being a dummy defender. He stays here at the elbow. So what Shea does, I bump. Instead of sidestepping or pulling up, I spin back into space. Boom, I get that fade. Second time, Shea has decided to go and attack the same direction someone has cut from. Now, SGA gets his primary defender off of him. And Josh Green, he's got Kyrie. He switched up, makes him lose the rock. But he maintains composure. And now you got to assess the spacing of the floor at this point in time, right? So if you want to play like Shea, you got to understand what he sees. I got J-Dub in his right corner with Derrick Jones Jr., that means if I go right, they're probably going to help strong side and I'm going to have to kick it to J-Dub and he's not that great of a three-point shooter. But on his left side, even though I got two teammates, I got Isaiah Joe. Isaiah Joe, he'll, he'll shoot that thing 50% when he's wide open. So what's going to be the game plan? What's the scouting report for that, right? When he goes left, they not going to really help. And so now I'm able to get in between that gap. And once I even do get into that gap, I make sure that once I'm on that left side, I make sure I get back to that right side and get through Kyrie, make all that space, pump fake, and I bring myself to the free throw line and build my rhythm also that way. So anytime you're playing in transition, you'll never know what gaps you have until you can see everybody in front of you. And watch what Shea does, right? He brings it down to the middle of the floor. Everybody gets in front of him. J-Dub uh, cuts off that right side. And guess where Shea goes? to that right side because I have space there. A cut occurred and make that number three. That's the third drive. And now if you just want to see this in Shay's perspective, you seen Luca Loki get mad. He's like, damn, I fell for it. <laughs> he like, hey, hey, hold on, Luca fell for it. Luca fell for it, right? He, he ends up getting J-Dub, he turns his back. He turns again, he's like, oh shit, he drove this way. And he's like, oh shit, <sighs> damn it. Look, watch him, watch him, watch him. <laughs> he's about to get mad, but Pete this as well. If you just want to see what Shay sees, empty elbow empty wing i just got a corner i attack pj washington open up his base i get to my stop pull up right there and then give me that bucket you got sga on this right elbow and you got j-dub at the top notice what the action they're about to run sj is just waiting until 10 and he's gonna step up from the elbow so he could get a switch from j-dub's defender right now he's got pj washington and i'll pay attention to this when he gets this catch you gotta assess the floor and now going to this left side, I got Chet, a shooter, but most importantly, strong side corner. So I'm not gonna see Kyrie for real. He's playing with his hands on his knees. And now once I get there, the real help is Derek Lively. So I'm not gonna go to the rim. These next steps and dribbles gonna be taken to that baseline so I can fade away. And I'm gonna get 34 without layups as well. Just pure middies. When Shea gets into this floater, you see three defenders in, within a five-foot vicinity, but he really only sees one defender. At this point in time, he's got J-Dub in that left corner. Kyrie, strong side corner, he's not helping off of J-Dub. Take away that. That leaves two. Now, when I attack Luka, hit him with that bump, now you're off balance. You're not going to really be able to contest. Cut that down to one. And now I just have to worry about getting this over P.J. Washington. And I do that all the time in my drills with them little foam pads and shit every single time I do it. So that was just one defender I really had to worry about because before I even got into the shot, I did all the work I needed to do 
on the ground with Luka and reading Kyrie. Pay attention to when Luka picks up on SGA. He gets this catch and is working himself up. Isaiah Joe on that cut through as well from that top, right? And so now when Luka decides to pick up on Shea, what he does, he steps out and tries to beat him uphill. But since Shea gets so low, he is able to get through that hip, turn the corner, and now go downhill. So now Luka has to open all the way up, and he stops short because I see Lively get to my floater. Make that number six. Isaiah Joe did cut. Now, SGA's got P.J. Washington. Slip out right there by Chet. Switch with Josh Green. Now watch what P.J. Washington does and what SGA is looking at, right? And since P.J. Washington switched on to Chet, he turns back, he leaves, and then boom, Shea decides to get into that spin, into that fade, boom, get that bucket, right? That's seven. So remember at the end of the second quarter, what action did OKC run so that they could be able to get into these isolations with SGA? This little elbow where he gets to switch on the J-Dubs defender, and now he got Josh Green, right? He gets this catch. And y'all think Shea only got handles. You think he only smooth. But Shea don't really need a dribble, right? He's also got this, the most important fundamental layer to basketball, that triple threat with that jab, because that creates space while preserving the most amount of energy so you could get a jumper off. Y'all need that jab. Y'all need that triple threat game. SGA gets the switch on to P.J. Washington. When SGA catches and looks over P.J. Washington's shoulder, he sees Gafford guarding Giddy, who's cutting along that baseline. So this tells SGA, all right, if I decide to go dribble and spin, by the time I get into the paint, Gafford's going to stay there while, while Giddy continues to cut. And so by keeping him there, Kyrie can't see Giddy. I kick straight to Giddy, Giddy to Wallace, and Wallace gets that three on the wink. He's looking beyond the person he's guarding and making moves according to the help. That's what makes an elite player, an elite shot creator, elite scorer, elite hooper, bro. That's an elite hooper. That's what it is, elite hooper. <laughs> That's just tough. We at seven now. I don't know if you've seen that last one, but now we got Shea with P.J. Washington. And so he ends up going right, switch on to Luka. P.J. Washington got Cambridge Williams. Where are you going to go? You going to sit here and play at the elbow or are you going to cut through? You cut through is exactly where I decided to go slip by and attack left because that's where I have a double gap between me and my next teammate. Despite the miss, high quality look. That's number eight. You got SGA with this draft screen from J-Dub. You flip it, Varys out screen right there to the pop, Derrick Jones Jr. on J-Dub. Pump fake, he attacks, but now I give it up to SGA. I got to assess the spacing. I got J-Dub on that left side. Is he going to stay at that elbow? Because what it really boils down to shape is what elbow is free? What elbow, what side of the floor can I get to that elbow area that has space? And that's what those cuts open up, right? And so right now we at eight. We at eight, he ends up cutting through. I can now get to his left side, slip right by, boom, float. Make that nine. Get another bucket at the start. Now Shay's got Derrick Jones Jr. Screen going right, I got Kyrie. I just gotta read that screen. What is Derrick Jones Jr. gonna do? He ends up standing at the free throw line area for a second, right? So this is going to slow him down just a little bit. Slows him down. And so now it ends up occurring, all right, I got to slow down my attack. Wait for him to clear out. And now I decide to go and make that go move, get to my step back into space. Boom, left. That's 10. Peep this. You got 24 seconds left. Watch Luca. Watch what Luca's doing. Watch what Luca does. He tells Tim Hardaway Jr. from that weak side to step up on the screen so he doesn't have to switch on the shade, right? So, boom. Casey Wallace on the screen. Tim Hardaway Jr. on the switch. And now, what's happening on that left? You got Casey Wallace with P.J. Washington. It looks like somebody's finally about to learn because he decides not to clear out with Casey Wallace and stays on that left side. And so, what SGA does? Go to that right side. I got Chet. I got room on that right. Side step. But swirl in and out. Now that's the 10th attack, where he ended up attacking based upon the cut and the clear out. Let me say that, based on the cut and the clear out. Most times there's a clear out, so he went, no clear out, I'll go the other way. 